set up. Okay, I'm oh, video. Mommy says you should video her. Uh, I'm shoveling. Why are you doing It's still less than a minute. Um, I still don't like this. I didn't collect that much snow though. Yeah. Yeah? I'm videoing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, a minute has passed. <laughs> Mommy, a minute has passed. <laughs> Should I continue video? Should I continue the video? I don't want to go. I want to okay, stay. You can stop it and take the Teamwork. <laughs> Thank you, Zara. Thank you, Bubulo. <laughs> Table missed. <laughs> JD is missing out. It's freezing. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Patience. I am going out right now. I'm all dressed up, no makeup, just walking to the walk-in pharmacy to get my daughter's uh, prescription. Whenever the weather is like this, it's an opportunity for you to just go out and enjoy a little bit of the fresh air, even though it's still cold, minus two degrees. It's a beautiful weather because the sun is out. Let's go. Let me look for my... Must have accessory. Where should I go in? Pharmacy now. Let's see. Okay. 
then you can take one after eight hours. And one more thing, do you have any other benefits besides the one which I have on file? Do you have two benefits or one benefit? Oh, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Hi. Hi, yeah. I'm here. I'm good. Good morning. So I'm here to pick up my daughter's um arrow chamber. The doctor prescribed it last uh September, but you said she wasn't due for a new one. I had to pay for the one I took and you said I should come in February to get that's okay. why she's here. Please give me her name. Zara. And the last name? Obi. February 27th. Oh, 27th. Today's 26th. <laughs> it makes no difference. I can just have it now. <laughs> it's, not allowing, it's not passing. Oh, uh, okay. Live in the area? Yes. Yeah, because you didn't give me an exact date. Yeah. That's why. It is coming up today saying zero available until February 27th, 2021. 20, okay. Oh. Uh, Okay, I'll just, my house is not far away my from My suggestion it. is if you do it on 1st, it would be better. Okay, 1st of March. Please. Okay, sure. Yes. I'll be back. Okay. You, yeah, it's okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So I couldn't pick up my daughter's aero chamber. Uh, it's, I don't know how they key in the stains and it says according to him I'm supposed to pick it up uh, February 27th and it will be better for me like he said it will be better for me to come back first of March which I'll definitely do. Yeah because when the doctor prescribed the aero chamber that's supposed to be for her school because we'll have one at home but they couldn't the pharmacist said she wasn't due for another one that I have to pay so I had to pay for the one she took to school and right now I have to get her on right now because it's what the doctor prescribed for her and that's free actually so a little bit of my neighbor so interested in coming to Canada and you think the weather is something that you cannot adjust to well it's actually doable people get used to it with not really really used to. I don't think anybody can get used to this cold but you walk your way around it by covering yourself properly yeah this is my neighborhood Oh, so right now the snow's just melting and spring is approaching very fast and spring is very beautiful you see the flowers sprouting out and really beautiful time <sighs> even though it look it will look a little bit messy with the, the snow melting and water gushing out from both the roof and it's still beautiful so I'm going back home now so you saw the uh, the clip of me and my children shoveling snow <laughs> oh, yeah that's what we do when there's a snowstorm and 
play around and shovel you don't really feel the you don't really feel the work you're doing you just play around it and walk walk play yeah so I'm not far away from my house Okay, it's so, why does it look so dark? I'm back. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm back from the pharmacy. It was a very short walk to the pharmacy. It's not far away from my house. It's like 800 meters. Don't mind this. I have to be sure this is not blurred. I read with glasses and most times even when I do my videos, I have to put on my glasses to be sure everything is well placed or the um the video is not blurred so man my eyes are really bad i just hope this is okay okay yeah let's talk so yeah unfortunately i couldn't get my daughter's aero chamber though we have one here and she has one in school so when the doctor prescribed it and i went to the pharmacy the pharmacist said she wasn't due for another one. She'll be due for another one in February. And this is February. He didn't, the thing is that he didn't give me a specific date to come collect it. And when I went today, he was like, even though it's February, she's supposed to pick it up. I'm supposed to pick it up 27th of February. And it's not yet 27th of February. Uh, just to be on the safe side, he asked me to come back on, on the 1st. And it's free, yeah. It's free. Do I had to pay for the one I picked in September because she wasn't due and I actually we really needed one for her school. So I got that one. So did you guys the video of me and my children shoveling? I just want to use this. I just want to I don't know if someone watching this will be interested in coming to Canada but because of how cold it is here the person is a little bit discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Even though I wouldn't really promise you that you get used to the cold. The cold is something that even the Canadians sometimes are scared of it. But the good thing about it is that you cover yourself properly and you don't have to be out. But if you're a teacher, you spend up to an hour with the children. Primary school teacher, maybe you, I don't really oh yeah up to an hour with the children outside even though it's cold but it gets to a particular peak of the cold that you don't spend time outside I am an early educator we spend time with the children with the children that's kindergarten children one hour in the morning one hour in the afternoon even though it's very cold but it's when it gets up to like minus is it 20 or 30 I have to check you cannot be out without 20 30 to 30 you won't be outside with the children and even during the uh the warmer month which is the summer it gets to a particular peak when it's very hot you won't even go outside with the kids so what i'm trying to say is that if you're a mom and you want to come over with your children it's something that you can do don't allow the cold deter you from making that first move it's not everybody that shovels snow. It depends on where you stay. If you live in a condo with the condo fees and all the rest, there are people that take care of it. But if you want to stay in, a, in an apartment, you have to do it with your children. And if you have the resources, you have the money, you can hire people. You can pay for people that will come and shovel your snow. But I just think it's something that I can do with my children. And while doing it, we'll have fun. we we'll play like you guys you saw in the previous clip and yeah and why i don't want to why i wouldn't want to 
uh, employ the services of people to do it for me is that what if I'm I have to work very early in the morning and you, your mind will be, are they going to come early enough to shovel the snow before I leave? What if they don't come early enough to shovel that snow? I'm not in a, I'm not in any way trying to like spoil business for people that do that. They do it very well. And yeah, it's something that you can do. Don't allow the snow to, or the cold weather. If I, like I stay in Ontario, you, Ontario is one of the warmest places, if I may say, but British Columbia is pretty warm, but very expensive to have colder places than Ontario as well if you want to come over it's something that you can do my husband doesn't stay here with us he shuffles between here and where he works and yeah here in Nigeria there are other people that are doing it not only Nigerians even Koreans Chinese people and you know how they've looked to their countries I've not been to China but I've been fortunate enough to be I visit, visited Korea, I can't remember if it is North or South Korea, but that Korea that you can visit, I've been there and it's a beautiful place. But you see a lot of Koreans here, why are they leaving their countries to come here? Anyway, that's just by the way, I just want to encourage any woman that would want to take that leap, that very first step, go ahead and do it as something that you would not regret and yeah. My children love it here. They're always happy. Anyway, thank you for stopping by to watch my video. If you've been watching my videos and you're yet to subscribe, please, what are you waiting for? Just click on the subscribe button. And also there's a bell notification sign that you can tap on that way you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Could you tell that I wasn't comfortable walking around with my camera? It's something that I have to get out of because i really want to be going out to do most of my videos and hopefully i promise you i'm going to keep to my words i'll be going out to do more videos and show you around my neighborhood and around Burlington, even go further to other places like toronto and oakville and mississauga definitely i will do that and please just tell people about this channel help promote my channel help make my channel grow thank you and i'll see you in my next video bye bye